Oh, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. I know. It's a good thing my dorm has AC. Your dorm has AC? Mine doesn't. Yikes, that sucks. My room is so hot right now. <laughs> oh no. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. To deal with the extreme heat of our dorm rooms, we strive to modify a simple fan, something most college students own, to produce cold air. Most fans simply circulate the already warm air in the room, and in reality do not produce cold air. We took some inspiration from existing designs and really aimed to understand how simple heat transfer and latent heat thermodynamics could ben benefit us. Our second objective was to understand how changing certain variables, such as surface area of the copper tubing, flow rate of the water, and fan wind speed would change the temperature of the cool air produced by our device. This is also how our project varies from existing models. Changing these variables allowed us to maximize heat transfer. More specifically, our project aimed to demonstrate the thermodynamic concepts of a heat exchanger and the latent heat of fusion. To do this, we created an AC unit using a fan and a cooler containing ice water. The ice water was pumped through the copper tubing across the fan. Since the temperature of the entering water was much colder than the temperature of the surrounding air, the cold air spontaneously absorbed the heat from the air, in accordance to the second law of thermodynamics. We chose copper as the tubing material because it has one of the highest thermal conductivities, making it ideal for heat transfer. We took advantage of copper's high thermal conductivity by maximizing the surface area of the copper tubing that was exposed on the surface of the fan. This allowed for more of the heat from the air to be absorbed by the cold water going through the tubes. We tested how effective our fan was by measuring the temperature of the air going in and out of the fan both with and without the copper modification. For a final round of testing and data collection, we attached aluminum fins on our copper tubing in order to increase the cold surface area even more to the hot air. The assumptions we made include, number one, the temperature drop of the entire room would not have much of a significant change given that it is not an empty room. Thus, we measured only the temperature directly in front of the fan. Number two, in doubling the surface area of the coils, the temperature of the exit air would be even cooler. Number three, we assumed greater wind speed will also make the temperature of the exit air cooler. From our data collection, we found that the room temperature ranged from 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Our initial design with 10 feet of copper tubing, four gallons of water, and 10 pounds of ice managed to bring the temperature down an average of 1.9 degrees. We also measured the temperature of the water in the cooler against the temperature of the water re-entering the cooler. As expected, the temperature of the water re-entering the cooler was on average 1.48 degrees warmer. We modified our design with more copper tubing and aluminum fins in order to increase the surface area exposed to the warm air. The expected outcome was cooler air, but we found that the temperature decreased the same amount as our previous design. Additionally, we tested our modified design on low and high speeds and found that on lower speeds, the average decrease in temperature was 4 degrees and on higher speeds, the average decrease in temperature was 2.3 degrees. Overall, the goal of our project was to demonstrate an effective and cost-efficient form of cooling down dorm rooms without the high costs of installing an AC unit. Our design iterates the functions of a heat exchanger along with the additional use of latent heat to maintain the water in the cooler consistent. Future development of our project idea would include 
further testing in an isolated room to obtain more of an accurate account of the temperature difference. We're no strangers to thermal. You know the laws, and so do I. A heat exchange is what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Trent! I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna make you sweat. Colder is what you'll get. Use the second law to help you. Never gonna let you die. Never gonna say goodbye. We'll build an AC with an eye.